I wanted to say something, but I just couldn't. It's like my body was like not allowing me to lie. And so now they know. And I'm like, oh my God. And then my brother like really roasted me and made me feel really bad about it. I don't know if anybody even knows what I'm talking about right now. Wait, what happened? Okay, so basically, like, I was just saying how, like, my family is, like, very, like, religious and very, like, it's very important that I be very innocent. And they believe that I am an innocent little angel child that would never do any sins and is just so very innocent. And then my brother just kind of insinuated, like, jokingly that, like, me and Moko, like... You know, and for whatever reason, like I just sat there and I was just like, like I just didn't deny it. Like I just couldn't lie for some reason. Like nothing was coming out of my mouth. I was just like, and then he kind of looked at my mom and they both looked at me and they were like, and I was like, I just literally went like that. And they were like, you did. And I was like, and they were like, oh my god, Hannah, you're so bad. And Utah was like, I'm so disappointed in you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, realistically, what did y'all think? What did y'all think? Let's be real. Not me, like, going and traveling around the freaking world, staying in a hotel with this man, and having all these, like, romantic events and occasions, and, like, sleeping in the same bed, and I literally told him, like, we would cuddle all night, blah, 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 and you think nothing happened? Grow up. Like, yeah, right. But also, like... That's the thing is like they think I'm that innocent and they expect me to be that innocent that like they really like were actually disappointed in me when they found out and I'm like damn I can't believe they know like that's actually a huge deal for me and my family but my mom was like she was like to my brother she's like you better not tell dad and I was like yeah you better not tell dad so my dad doesn't know thank god because I don't know how he would handle that are your parents Indian no do I look Indian But here's the thing, I know that if there's any big like family argument, that's the first thing Utah's gonna use against me. He will throw me under that bus faster than, what's something that's fast? But yeah, he don't be keeping secrets very well. But it's okay, cause I know some stuff about him. So, you know, try me. Cause finally I'm at a phase of life where I actually know some stuff about him, but he really doesn't be doing much. like. That's very, nothing is very wild. Faster than you and Moko. <laughs> Bro. Man, I never even got to tell him about his new nickname. That's sad. Is Moko white or Indian? He's Mexican. You guys should know by now I only date Mexicans. Like, do y'all even know me? Hmm. That guy that followed me, yeah, he's pretty innocent. <laughs> or at least he's really good at hiding the fact that he's not. I don't know. What if someone gets Mexican citizenship just to date you? No, they have to be Mexican. Like, I want the culture. I want the Mexican appearance. Like, I don't even really like Mexican guys that look white. What about Irish guys? Not for me, personally, but that's okay. Okay, that guy that followed me earlier today that I was telling you about Diamond, and I was like, okay, I watched his story, and then he, and then he followed me, and started, he started liking my highlights. You know what? When a guy starts going through your highlights and liking things you posted in February, they're sending a signal. Loud and clear, okay? Anyways, I, f I freaking followed him back and then unfollowed him within a minute because I was like, no, I don't want it to look like I'm looking for a new guy. He unfollowed me already, bro. I'm a little sad because he's like friends with freaking like a lot of people. And he is a musician. 
So I'm a little bit like, I mean, if I, if I have to move on, but bro, I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose the person that I actually want to be with. Like, it's not, it's not a game to me. It's like life. It's like my future. And I don't want to do something that's going to piss him off or make him think that I never took him seriously. Even if it is like, oh, it would be nice to go on a date with somebody in the meantime or whatever. It's not worth it. Because it's like, it's just not worth it at the end of the day. I don't even want to move on. I just want to wait for him. He'll be ready eventually. I didn't ask for opinions. I already asked my therapist for that. And she backed up my delusions. She agrees with me. And she's the professional, so. I don't know any UFC fighters, bro. Do I look like a violent person? The only thing violent about me is these dance moves. Told you. Your therapist is paid to tell you what you want. That's not true. She's actually a psychiatrist. So she's paid to put me on medication. But also she like literally went to school for how many years to study the way that people's brains work and stuff. And I told her everything that happened and she told me what she thinks is going on with him and like his brain right now and what like what my best course of action is and what she believes is gonna happen. And she said like in situations like this, it's completely repairable and that like it could take a long time but that like, she was like 99% of the time, if a relationship was good and the breakup was due to external factors, then when things with the external factors settle, then those people will come back together. And she's like, for some people it's a few weeks, for some people it's a few years. So you have to just like live your life in the meantime, even if that means dating other people. But she just said like, he seems like a really lovely guy and like what he did wasn't malicious. That's why I'm not angry. Like I'm sad, but I'm not angry because, well, yeah, he didn't betray me. I don't have a reason to be angry at him. But yeah, and then she was saying like, you know, just focus on you, don't obsess. And she also was like, don't try and like reach out to him and tell him how much you miss him and you love him. And, uh, because when he's like going through stuff and like trying to focus on his life and whatever, that's just gonna like stress him out more. How old are you? I'm 23. You guys are missing the point. I'm not gonna be like staying like hyper fixated on the situation. The point is that I go on with my life, I live my life. Like I'm writing songs right now and I'm making plans and I'm traveling and I'm like doing stuff. I'm doing stuff. And then he's doing his stuff. We're both doing our own stuff separately from each other. And then his stuff will get better and better and my stuff will get better and better. And we'll both be like better versions of ourselves, even better than we are now. And then maybe we'll come back together and we'll be even better than we ever were.